Classic. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortness Prime here doing another SH Figure Arts figure review on the SH Figure Arts Vegeta San Diego Comic Con 2014 US exclusive with the original anime colors. If you're trying to get your DBZ figures, you can find them at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So the packaging is pretty standard aside from the San Diego Comic Con logo right over here. It's printed on here. That's not a sticker. It says US exclusive over there, ages 15 and up. There's a side you get Vegeta, and then there's boom, movable molding Vegeta, and then there's a side you can see he's over 9,000, and then there's a, I don't know what that says, and then there's the very bottom over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Vegeta out of the packaging, a very cool figure with his colors I first showed up with in the cartoon, and then later on changed into these colors right here, which I prefer. So I do like having this figure more. Uh, this one I honestly bought just to review. Now the accessories are the same, but to look at the figure over here, you know, I don't think it was done poorly. I don't like the color scheme so much, but I think the figure was actually very well done. So this is the display stand it comes with. It comes with these two stands right here for the effects, and then this one stand for holding up Vegeta himself. And there are the clear pegs that can be plugged into these. It comes with two of those. Now I think these effects are awesome. Now there's nothing different about these compared to the regular version of the Vegeta effects, but I think these are really cool. Wonderfully painted. I like this translucent blue plastic. And they've added this white paint over here, and I just really like how it blends into the blue section. This looks great. And then looking at this one, I like all these little spikes and everything. And each of them have a hole at the bottom of them, so you can plug them into the smaller peg of the two pegs on each of the stands. Now the figure comes with four pairs of interchangeable hands. We get the fisted hands over here, we get these flat hands over here, we get these clenching hands, and then we get these wide open palm hands all the way over here, which all look very, very nice. They're all very well sculpted. We get the two fingers out pose, which all the figures tend to have for the DBZ. Then we get these arms crossed right here, which I love. I think that is a very, very cool thing. Here's his scouter, which looks really, really cool. I like how you can almost see digits in there. And then there's this crushed scouter over here as well, which looks awesome. Man, I love that attention to detail. Look at that paint. That is awesome. I really dig it a lot. Now, it is slightly different from the regular version, as this scouter right here has some paint detail in it, and this one's mostly just flat white. Face! Yeah, he comes with four different faces, which I think is awesome, and he comes with two different heads. One of them is for attaching the scouter, and the other one is not. I like this brown fading effect that we get on the top over here. I think that looks really cool. I really like the paint on all these faces. I think the details came out very, very well. I like that we have this vein popping out right over there. Nice sweat drops right over here. And all of these have some nice shading going on in the hair section of them too. So seeing as the face attaches right over here, you can see the scouter version has a slot for the scouter. This one does not. So what you do is you just plug in the face and then what you could do is just sneak in this little tab right over here, right behind his ear and you want to line that up so it's covering his eye and there it goes. It's quite simple. But here's looking at the rest of the figure. It looks very good. I like this a lot. I think they did a really good job with this. I'm not a big fan of this lime green and orange. I think it's kind of strange, but you know, they did a good job making the figure. He has some really nice shadowing effects right there on the blue sections. I think that came out very nice. It looks like it's just my lighting, but it's not. There's some black overspray over here. Forearm looks pretty good. Some nice wrinkles right over there in his glove. Unfortunately, mine did get a little bit of brown scuffage right here from his tail. The tail actually looks very nice. So I like the color brown. You can see how it wraps around and it plugs right into over there. And you could detach this too. There's another tail. So you can just remove this and then take this away. There we go. And then we could add in the elongated tail or the tail that's, you know, not wrapped around his waist. And that one looks really good too. I like how the paint and the lines came out over here. And again, I like this blue section a lot. And then here's looking at the cuffs of his boots. He does not have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. And here's a look at the back of the figure. Pretty awesome, digging it. You can move his head upward, he looks up that much. He can look down, you can rotate his head side to side, and you do get some neck pivot over here, and the head does not pop off too easily, I like that. Now even though these shoulder pads are removable, they are not articulated. Now, he does have shoulders that move all the way outward though, and you can rotate them forward, and he does have the armpit joint that allows it to move all the way around. He has a bicep swivel, he has a, a double jointed elbow that moves in that much, he has wrists that move side to side, and they can hinge down and up, uh, depending which direction it's going in. Now he does have these flaps right here that 
that are on hinges, so you can move these all up. Ooh, there's his Vegeta, and then you can detach his lower section like this, so you can move it side to side, rotate, kind of crunches forward and back just a little bit. So unfortunately, there's no real ab crunch on this figure, but he does have legs right here that are detached. You can shift those up and down. I like that, and you can move them all the way outward. You can kick forward. He has an upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. He rotates at the ankle, moves down, up. Beautiful ankle pivot and toe articulation, and the tail rotates side to side too. So for the tip of his hair, Vegeta stands just a little over six inches tall. And here he is compared to the regular retail version of the figure, the color scheme that most people are familiar with. And here's Vegeta compared to Piccolo and Kakarot over here. You can see that he's the shortest one as he should be. So I think these all work into pretty good scale together. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Again, this is a very cool figure. I do like these colors more, but still a badass figure. And those who are diehard about getting the original colors, well then I totally recommend this figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Beautiful. Whoa, there it goes. Damn, thing flew.